What's going on world? This is your boy B and welcome to another episode where the truth lives here. And on this episode, I'm going to talk to you guys why I changed my beer style. And that beer style is the beard fade. So with that said, let's get right into it. It's been over four years since I've had a new beard style. And on my journey, it's about time to evolve, right? We're here to transcend. It's not about a transaction. You know, it's not about how long your beard is. It's about how healthy your beard is. It's about how you feel when you wear it, how confident you are, how it looks. I wanted to start this new journey, this part of the journey, to demonstrate to you guys that, hey, if you're dealing with a patchy beard, if your beard is, uh, you know, you may be thicker on the left hand side versus the right hand side, uh, or it's, it's just not filling in the way that you would like it to fill in, then one of the ways that you can style it and give it personality and make it your own, own your beard, is by doing a beard fade. And there's several ways you can do the beard fade, fade that can be unique to you, right? So you gotta take that in consideration. You can do a high beer fade, taper. You can do a lower beer fade, right? You can do kind of middle, or, you know, it all will depend on, you know, what you have to work with. And it's all about working, it's all about taking your lemons and making lemonade. That's what it's all about. And we all should be walking around here with a beer that has personality, that has a story. And, and it's not just about me just growing this massive beard. No, it's about you evolving and transcending and taking what you have and, and elevating it the best way that you can. So doing a beard fade is something that I highly suggest that you try. Some of you guys may have already done it. Some of you guys may have not. And, you know, if this is something new for you, a new idea, then what you can do is go to Instagram, find a picture, of somebody who has a beard is fading in. Um, we have a couple pictures on Black Men's Beard page and go to your barber, show them that picture. Say, hey, I want this style. Can you, can you take my beard and work with it? Now, be realistic too, okay? Be realistic because if your beard only grows in this area, right here and it gets very lighty and, sp and spotty, don't don't have the expectation that your barber can bring it all the way up here, you know? Just work with what you have. You know, if, if it's spotty here, be like, hey, can you fade it in and just blend it in? And I guarantee you, no matter if you're, you know, you're dressing in luxury leisure, a suit, if you're dressing it down, no matter what fit you have on, man, it is a nice touch. It is a nice touch. It would set you apart from the rest of the crowd because typically, you know, at least, you know, when I was initially starting to grow my beard, you know, I wanted to just grow the longest beard and the widest beard. And, you know, that was like in my mind. And then over time I had to learn, it's not about, you know, a long beard. It's about the health of your beard. It's about, you know, beard personality. It's about style. It's about texture. It's about being confident to do something different, being confident in who you are, owning your beard and working with it, not against it. And that's what this is all about, right? That's why I wanted to take this opportunity and say, hey, I'm not gonna just tell you guys, you know, let me show you, let me demonstrate, let me actually walk this walk with you. And that's what I did with my beard, with my, um, with my beard fade. I love it, I love this new look. Um, it does change the dimensions of your face and things of that nature, but you get used to it, right? It, it, it's okay. You, you, you definitely get uh, get used to it. Again, it's about transcending. It's about evolving to the next level. It's not about, you know, the length of the beard and the width of it. Because if you spend your time just worrying about that, man, that would drive you crazy. And I'm not saying you're not, not to have beard goals because goals are great and we all need goals. Please let me know what you think about my beard fade. Uh, we do have a video, so go check out that video. Um, it will premiere tomorrow, uh, and you'll be able to see the process how Toya Cuts helped to transcend my beard, 
help to transform my beard and, and, and help me to, to take it to another level. And with that said, this is your boy B. As always, make sure you guys watch our previous episode and look out for the next episode where I'm going to show you exactly how I made that uh, transformation. As always, you already know. I'm out.